How's it going guys? It's Josh here and yes, I'm back. You thought I'd die, didn't you? You thought... Josh has had another appendicitis like in last March. Well, you're all wrong because you can only have an appendicitis once anyway. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. But yeah, all jokes aside guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I've been away. Couple of reasons really. I'll just go through them briefly now. Uh, the first is that my camera broke back in uh, late February. So um, my Panasonic G7, the SD card slot, a little piece of SD card got stuck beneath the pins in it and I couldn't use it. Um, I took it to get it sent off to be repaired and then they wanted a ridiculous price just to send it off. So I thought, oh, I could probably get it out myself. Um, as it happens, I couldn't, and uh, I had to, yeah, go and send it off anyway. I, sh I should have just done that in the first place, really, shouldn't I? Um, but yeah, so that is being repaired now. I'm currently just using my Galaxy S9 Plus camera. Um, it's recording in 4K. Let me know how it looks. Um, so I'll just be using that for the next couple of weeks until I get the other camera back. Uh, the second reason that I've been away is that I just felt a little bit burnt out, to be honest. Uh, I know other YouTubers have said it before as well, uh, but I've been making videos for like over a year and a half now, and I just started to feel like the way I was making videos was very kind of linear. Uh, like I'd know what I was going to say, I'd film my clips, put them together, put a video out, and it was just kind of starting to feel more like a job instead of me actually enjoying it, which is, is not what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I think taking a break has been uh, a good thing. Uh, I'm really happy to start making some more videos for you guys now. I've got some really cool things planned, new ideas, uh, new reviews, things like that. So we've got some stuff to look forward to. Uh, I also just want to say thank you to you guys for sticking with me. We're actually past 8,000 subscribers now, which is amazing. We're slowly creeping towards that uh, 10,000 goal. So yeah, new videos coming guys, uh, regular upload schedule again. So yeah, should be good. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, any LED strips into kind of smart LED strips. What I mean by this is that I'm going to show you how to enable them with the Amazon Echo and also how to control them with your smartphone for around about a tenner. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Thanks again guys, here's the video. So I don't think this needs to be a long tutorial so I'll try and keep it fairly short. Now smart LED strips are already a thing, both Philips and Lifex make their own kits, however they're rather expensive and arguably overpriced at around £60 and £90 respectively, and that's only for a 2 meter kit. Now the benefit with these is that you can control every part of the LED strip from your phone or Amazon Echo, you change the colours and the brightness etc, but what about if you just want to be able to turn them on and off remotely? Honestly, I rarely change the colours of my LED strips, but I did want to be able to control them with my voice via the Amazon Echo. Here's where this thing comes in. They have come down in price quite a bit now, I picked this one up for around £10 off Amazon. It's an Alexa compatible smart plug and it works brilliantly. Here's how it works. So you plug it into any mains powered socket, you turn it on, this little LED should flash. Now depending on which smart plug you buy, you may have to download a different app, but mine is called To Your Smart. It'll tell you in the instruction manual. You create an account, enter your Wi-Fi password to connect it to your hub, and then all you need to do is click Add Device, and it should automatically detect and connect your smart plug. You're now all set to control it from your smartphone. Plug your LED kit straight into the smart plug, and you're good to go. Now for the voice control part. So you want to go into your Alexa app, search for skills and add whichever one your smart plug requires. Again, mine is to your smart. Once you've completed the setup and linked your account, just rename the smart plug to whatever you want. I've got mine set to floor lights. So now, whenever I say Alexa, floor lights on, the LED kit that I've got installed under my sofa turns on. And the same if I want to turn it off. Now I have had absolutely zero problems with this smart plug, it works every single time and it's actually very fast and responsive. And of course, providing you've got a data connection, you can turn it on and off remotely using your smartphone, even when you're away from home. Like I said before, I rarely change the colours of my LED strips, but if I want to, I just use the original remote. To me, the biggest benefit is having the same voice control that I use for my Philips Hue bulbs, and it's brilliant. You can have as many as you want and it works every time. And it's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying a Philips Hue LED kit. I'll drop the links to this smart plug in the description. Definitely check it out. For the price, you can't go wrong. So I hope you enjoyed watching today, guys. I've got lots more videos planned, more reviews coming, things like that. Uh, so if you're not already, get yourself subscribed, and I'll catch you all in the next video.